Fighter jets are a game changer in wars. The better your fighter planes are, the more damage you can inflict on your opponent. Although almost all countries now have an air force and planes, not everyone is equal regarding power. It is quite obvious that the newer fighters are always better than their predecessors. This is why every country aims to get its hands on only the best finds. As of now, there are only three countries that have managed to achieve the fifth generation of fighter jets. Unsurprisingly, they are all the three greatest powers in the world, U.S., Russia, and China. However, a recent development is that the U.S. Air Force is closer to a sixth generation now than ever before. But what surprises does this new generation have in store for us? Let's find out as we explore in detail the U.S. program to build the sixth generation of fighter jets. The U.S. already has enough dominance all over the world, yet it still is hungry for more. But what can we say? The most powerful military is the U.S. In addition to land and water, the U.S. Air Force wants complete control in the air, too. This is why the NGAD, or Next Generation Air Dominance Program, was started in the first place. The United States NGAD 6th Generation Fighter has recently received a boost thanks to a recent proposal for an increase in funds for research and development that was included in the defense budget. This investment might perhaps help the modern warplane. This generosity may make it possible for the United States Air Force and Navy to debut a cutting-edge aircraft well ahead of its competitors, China and Russia. During a round table, the Air Force Chief of Staff General stated that the approach for the Next Generation Air Dominance Program is the one that has not been followed by any of the previous fighters. The fighter is being developed as part of the Air Force program, which aims to eventually replace the F-22 Raptor. The intention to retire 33 of the service's older F-22 fighter jets was recently made public following an announcement. It has been alleged that these jets no longer have the capability to engage in combat and are instead utilized primarily for training purposes. According to a report, the United States Air Force USAF, has made the decision to redirect that money to the research and development of cutting-edge combat jet designs as part of the NGAD program. The software that will control the flight of the next generation fighter being developed by the United States Air Force is being materialized in a manner that is distinct from the software that will control the aircraft's mission systems. This distinctive design choice is being hailed as a feature that will make it possible for the aircraft to be upgraded with new technologies more expediently. The general public is only privy to a limited amount of information regarding the NGAD. Although the NGAD's status as a top secret special access program is one obvious reason for the lack of information about it, the program's decoupled software approach raises the possibility that even those with insider knowledge of the NGAD aircraft won't be able to predict what kinds of novel technology will be deployed. A top secret fighter plane was planned, constructed, and put through its paces by the United States Air Force in just one year, as was revealed in 2020. Air Force Chief of Staff stated there could be two variants of NGAD, one with long-range missions for the Indo-Pacific and the other with shorter ranges between possible battle areas in Europe. The United States Air Force and the United States Navy each run their own unique NGAD programs. The depiction of the aircraft by different artists shows a warplane in the shape of a triangle that does not have a vertical tail. The NGAD program will produce a fighter jet that has increased speed and maneuverability, as well as better stealth technology and artificial intelligence AI, that assists in data processing. In addition, the NGAD is being developed to be capable of carrying out unmanned missions and participating in manned, unmanned teaming. This is a sort of teamwork in which human pilots work alongside unmanned platforms and drones, such as the Loyal Wingman aircraft. The primary role of the fighter jet will be air dominance, but it will also be able to hit ground targets. The fighter of the sixth generation 
will have some air-to-ground capability to ensure that it is able to survive. This would also allow the Joint Force and Air Component Commanders to provide options. But the U.S. is not the only country striving for excellence. A number of other countries are in the process of developing and launching their own fighters too. Even while China is most likely already working on its sixth-generation fighter aircraft, it may be falling behind the United States, which has already produced and tested a prototype of this sort of aircraft. One interesting thing about this whole scenario is that China is even more covert about its sixth-generation fighter program than the bulk of other nations, including the United States. The United States Next Generation Air Defense NGAD, has been described as a family of systems which indicates that a large number of adjunct and auxiliary aircraft will be partnered with or supported by the manned aircraft. We are convinced that it will be able to accommodate newly developed technology which can be integrated piece by piece without disrupting the primary flight control system of the aircraft. The manned NGAD fighter will cost hundreds of millions of dollars for each individual unit. The total cost may even add up to $2 billion. And this is just for a single unit. However, the high price indicates that the endeavor is going to be extremely advanced and effective. In addition to that, the creation of new weaponry and possibly a range of different drones will also take place. There is a possibility that the schedule will be pushed back as a result of the combination of all these reasons, which could result in the gap between the U.S. and Chinese timelines being reduced. The United States Air Force plans to cut its fighter force down to only four types of aircraft, including the F-35, F-15EX, F-16, and most importantly, the NGAD. The budget request for 2022 that was presented by the Department of Defense of the United States requested more funds for the NGAD. When compared to the financing that has been received in the past, the USAF is hoping for an increase of approximately $623 million in order to support NGAD with $1.5 billion. And although you might have mixed opinions about whether this kind of amount should be spent on a plane or not, one thing is certain. The pros of the plane do outweigh its price. If it wants to become the absolute best in aerial surveillance and combat, the U.S. cannot go wrong with the NGAD. This brings us to the end of this video. If you like the video, please consider subscribing and sharing so we can keep bringing more content like this. Also, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. See you next time!